you know, really quick, because we get so many people that hit us up. We're gonna we have Jose um, Jose Benavides Jr. with us. I'm gonna patch him in right now. I just want to put my two cents really quick, because we get a lot of people that go, hey, um, you need you know get this person, get this person on, and and we do our best, you know, and and one of the reasons why we don't sometimes get particular fighters or or personality personalities on the show um, is because they'd rather go somewhere where they're not going to be asked. And they know they're not going to be asked the the question that everybody's burning to hear the answer for. But I'm going to patch in uh, Jose Benavides Jr. What's up, brother? You're on live right now on Leaving the Ring. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Happy Doing New good. Year. Hey, happy New Year's to you too, man. Um, I'm glad to have you on. It's it's always fun when you come when you come on the on the airwaves here with us. Um, hey, really quick, um, uh, rumors. I, I got to get this cleared from you really, really fast. I'm, I'm, there's a lot of rumors out there that are saying or they're insinuating that you have left your father as a trainer. And, um, you know, I, I want to know, is that is there any truth to that? I mean, or has there been any talk about you separating with your dad and go, moving on with a different trainer um, ever since the, the, the last performance um, where, where you got caught? And I want to talk a little bit about that. But first, I want you to answer that first question I had out there for you, brother. No, you know, rumors are always going to be rumors. I know my, my dad's been training me since I was six years old. So, I mean, no, there's nothing. There's Me and my dad aren't separating, you know, just uh, taking the holidays off. I mean, we're still going to be a, a team. Like I said, we've been we've been there since, you know, six years old. He's been training me. So, I mean, rumors are going to be rumors. And, no, I'm, I'm not switching to a different trainer or going somewhere else. What do you think that stemmed from, you know? Was it because... I mean, let's be honest. I mean, after that performance, which was, I mean, every fighter is going to have a certain flaw, and you're going to get caught. And we were talking about this earlier about Rigging Dow. He got clipped. He got dropped. Um, you know, we looked at it as, okay, big deal. This is where you're supposed to shake that off and then figure out where do you go from there and, and how do you become better. And But you got dropped. You got caught. And I'm trying to remember the fighter that caught you. Uh, it'll come to me right, right now because I'm, I'm trying to think of the question of how, how to put it together and stuff. Is um, Do you think those rumors came about because you almost went into the hiding grounds? Like nobody knew what happened to you. You, 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 weren't, you weren't doing interviews. You weren't really talking much. Was that just something you needed to do was to kind of just fall back in and, and, and kind of go into somewhere alone and find yourself? You know, like I said, you know, I mean, it's, bo it's boxing. Eventually, you know, everyone's going to get caught. You're never not going to know, not get hit. But, I mean, no, I, I just, you know, like I said, I just I just wanted to take the holidays off. I mean, I had, a, you know, the holidays, I hadn't spent really much time with my family and stuff. So that's why, you know, I kind of really didn't do any reason and all that because I just, you know, wanted to spend time with my family. So, basically why. I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, Gabriel Montoya, who you know very well. Go, Gabe. How you doing, man? Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, man. How did uh, assess your year? How did you feel the year went? You know, you uh, you fought so much in, in 2011, um, you know, like five times. You only fought three times last year. Um, was that enough time for you? Do, you? do you feel like you've made the right progression? Where do you feel right now? You know, I, I feel that uh, we're doing good, you know, so far. Everything, everything's been going great. I, You know, I ended uh, 2012 uh, on the PDS as well. So, I mean, that's our plan, you know, just keep training hard and... Uh, you know, keep winning fights. I, I actually fought more than like three, four fights, basically with just one hand. And my last fight I fought was basically with just one hand. So I mean, I mean, I got caught with the lucky shot. I mean, every boxer gets caught, but you know, the the good thing is that you know I you have to just keep going forward and training harder. So. Do you think uh, this is the year that you know? I, I would say, I think, and rightly, that you're still in in prospect land. You're you're still right there. Is this the year that we we see you start to transition? into contenderville and that you start to really move up in, in terms of opposition and and moving towards regional belts and things like that yeah you know well i've had you know i've had uh three years you know of just getting my experience up there you know this fourth year when i'm you know trying to look for just train harder get uh get you know tougher opponents you know and get better fights you know and then start learning more hopefully you know one day be a world champion how i said before and you know i'm gonna keep training training hard till that day comes so what do you think right now is is the, is the aspect of your game that that you probably need to work on the most? I mean, you know, I don't want you to you know give away your weaknesses, but but there you know are there, is there something like the, the, in particular that you feel you haven't quite given enough attention to that you would like to focus in on in 2013? I mean, you know, you know, you never stop learning. No, no boxer is perfect. I mean, I go to the gym, you know, to train. I go to the gym, and you know, you learn new things at the gym every day. So I mean, I just want to, you know, I want to make everything better. You know, my jab, my body shots. 
my right hands, my uppercuts. You know, I just I just go to the gym and try you you know try to progress and be the best that I can. So I mean, that's what we're gonna start doing. You know, training hard and you know trying to trying to trying to get me better. You know, work more on my body shots, more on my jabs, and see see what happens. When you when you got caught with Miranda um, at the Home Depot Center and, and, and you were dropped, uh, what 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 went through your head? Was actually, it like was that a surprise to you or? Go ahead. Actually, when he caught me, I didn't. He didn't drop me when he caught me. So. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No. He like I said, he caught me with a lucky shot. I mean, I, it was a the eighth, the eighth round. You know, I kind of put my hands on a little bit. He caught me, but you know, I, I he didn't he didn't drop me. I know. But you know, like I said, it's boxing. You're you're gonna get caught eventually. So I mean, the good thing is that you know I I ended up you know I I didn't fall to the ground when he hit me and I you know I, I won the fight. So I fought the whole basically the whole fight with just one hand and I just dominated him with just one in my left hand. So I mean, well, have you went back and looked at at tape of of that of when he caught you and um and going back and looking into that um. What what is your thoughts of of what you did wrong? You know, like I said, you know, he he shouldn't have caught me. He caught me with the my right hand was way too low, and you know, like I said, it's boxing. Not every box is perfect, so he caught me with you know one of those desperate desperate hooks, and he landed. But you know, thank God that he didn't he didn't drop me or you know, and 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 I ended the night victorious. I won the fight, so you know, all I have to do is you know just put my hands up. Put them up, and you know, never, never uh, have them that low. That's my mistake. You know, I had my hand a little too low, and I mean, it was the eighth round. You know, it happens. You know, so just gotta put my hands up. You know, not, not get too confident. Yeah. Was it for you? It wasn't a stamina issue. It wasn't. Any, it was just one of those. You got caught. You had. It was a, that split second where you just lost focus, yeah. and boom, and that was yeah, it. No, you know, yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't really tired or anything. It was just that I, I put my hand down. You know. You know, me, I don't know why I did that, but, you know, like I said, it's boxing. You're, you're going to get caught eventually. And, you know, he got lucky and he caught me with that shot. Just like that fight of uh, Chavez and Maravilla, you know, Maravilla winning every single round, you know, just got caught that last round. You know, it's just it's just that split second, you know, a guy gets a lucky shot and he lands it, so. Do you learn, I mean, when you're in a moment like that, I mean, I was I was there and I remember uh, just watching it. I mean, it, was, it, it seemed like probably the longest period of time that you've ever experienced in your life, uh, having to get out of that round and, and you were, you were as hurt as I've ever, you know, seen you, uh, or seen anyone hurt. Uh, what do you, what's going through? I mean, are you thinking, I just got to get away. I got to just waste time. Or, I mean, can you even think linearly, 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 uh, during a moment like that? I mean, can you take us inside of, of your mindset and, and, uh, or did you want to fight back? I mean, what are you thinking? I mean, I, like I said, I you know I got caught. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I was still there. You know, when he hit me, I wasn't like if I was all, you know, knocked out or whatever. But a lot of people, I know, I see videos or whatever. People saying that I got saved by the bell. That I would, I would have lost the fight. I mean, I could have still gone ten, two more rounds, ten, ten, twelve rounds. I mean, I train when I train, I do ten, twelve rounds. So I mean, it, it wasn't that I was hurt. You know, it was just I got caught with with a good shot, but it wasn't like. If the bell wouldn't have rang or something, it's not like he would have beat me. Like, you know, like I said, other people, but people are understanding that I got saved by the bell or whatever. But, you know, like I said, it's boxing. You know, you just have to learn learn to live with it and go, go back to the drawing board and train harder. Yeah, it happens. I, I think, you know, I think people kind of make, you know, the boxing fans are the most fickle on the planet. The guy loses, you know, I've even seen this week, you know, uh, now that Freddie is, you know, lost ever since the the Pacquiao fight, well, Freddie Roach was overrated the whole time. He was never very good because he's just an offensive coach who never teaches defense. And blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. it's like, dude, like that's just rough. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. The people kind of take things away as soon as you showed a little bit of, oh, I can get hurt. All of a sudden, oh, he was never that good, even though everybody was like yeah. super high on you before. And I mean, I've seen you train, you know, as the wild card when I was there, and. Dude, yeah, nobody can question your work ethic. You're always in shape. I've never run into you anywhere and said, "Boy, Jose looks super fat." Like, wow, that's what he looks like between fights. I like, never, I like the fact that it happens. I never see that. You know, I, I got to tell you the truth. You know, I like the fact that things do like do happen like that because I think you learn something from your early on. You know, you, you, I don't know. Do you do you think it's something that you need to learn early rather than later? You don't know what to do, um, and you were able to react correctly. You know, you were able to, you know, uh, maintain yourself and, and 
continue on and not and not get dropped like you mentioned earlier, Jose? Or do you think that this is something that a fighter should learn later in their career? You know, I mean, everything happens for a reason. I mean, now, you know, to get more attention, put my hands up more. I mean, I think it's, it's better, you know, to learn, have that, you know, early in your career than have it like in a title fight or something. You get dropped and you don't know what to do. Because, I see, you know, I see a lot of good boxers out there that, you know, get caught with that shot and they don't know what to do after that. It just, you know, they don't know what to do. So, I mean, I, I think it's, I mean, it's, it's good and a bad thing. I mean, it's, it's not good, you know, to get hit like that. But if you're going to get hit like that, you know, what what you know what to do if you're gonna hold on or you're gonna run the round or you, I mean, you know. So, I, I mean, I remember that you know, and I apologize, you know, because it was a while back and I hadn't had a chance to go back and and rewatch the fight and stuff and. Um, you know, because I remember I wanted to talk to you immediately after that, and um, you weren't doing any interviews at the moment and stuff. With it's rightfully so, man. I mean, I don't think I would want to either at the moment. You know, spend the holidays and spend some time. You're in the face of the media and the public all the time, and and it's you earn the right. You you fight for a living. You earn that right to go. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna just just a backward step for a moment and uh, uh, and do my thing. Um, and I remember I was tweeting about that right, about your hand getting low. And I, I, I remember I keep tweeting out there that this is a learning process and this is something that needs to be corrected. And I, I think right after I tweeted that, that's when you got when you got caught. And I remember a lot of people jumping on you, uh, down your throat about that, saying like, oh, you know, he's, he, he, he would have got knocked out, he should have got knocked out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I was quickly, I, I remember tweeting out that this is a great learning process for you. This is great for not for just yourself, but for your whole team so that you guys can go back and go, okay, we can't do this again. This is how you grow. Um, this is not like a regular job, you know, where, you know, I'm, I'm a plumber by profession, you know, and if I, if I bring a leak, it's easy for me to fix, you know, um, where your job is you get caught with punches for a living and it's a lot harder to, to you know, do things on the job and make them be corrected on the fly and stuff. But you did it, and that's something that shows a lot of poise that I thought that – and I've always thought that you, you're going to do something, man. I, I really think that you have the tools, the tools to do it. If you're, you, you're an athlete, and you definitely a specimen, and you showed that and stuff. Um, hey, do you mind if we patch in some fight fans that want to talk to you really quick? Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, – Patch in Jimmy, who wants to, to to get on the air and, and have a chance to speak to you, Jose. Go ahead, Jimmy. You're on live right now with uh, Jose Benavides, Jr. Jose, hi. How are you doing? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Doing good. I just want to tell you, first I want to tell you thank you for repping. I'm from Arizona. My whole family's from Arizona. I want to say thank you for just being a true champion for our state, our city, how you represent us. We couldn't be more proud of you. I, I need to say that first and foremost. And secondly, what I want to say is, Obviously, I was. We saw the whole fight. The whole family did. We were here. We watched everything. I think. I think he was doing a great job dominating with his jab. Yeah, was, you know, he was just just doing great. I think what needs to be said is, let's talk about how much heart and determination he showed. That other fighters would have just, you know, that would that would have just they would have not even been able to, to continue after that. But Jose showed the poise, the heart, the warrior instinct to actually get up and continue and win the fight. And I agree with what you guys were saying earlier. That's a learning process, something you can't – you don't learn that in the gym. You learn that in the ring. And he showed his fortitude. He showed his warrior's heart. And we couldn't be more proud of him. And, you know, win, lose, draw, we're always going to be behind him just because he's a champion in and out of the ring. And I just wanted to say that on behalf of myself and my family. We're big fans. Oh, well, you know what, man, thank you. I really appreciate, you know, you supporting me, everyone that's been supporting me. You know, I'm, I'm from Arizona. I just want to, you know, bring Arizona on the map, you know, and like I said, you know, really thank you a lot. That, that means a lot to me, you know, just everyone that's been out there since day one, you know, hopefully one day I'll be the world champion. So I'm going to keep training hard, and, you know, thank you. Thank thank you and your family for all the support. Hey, you know, and that's great, man, that your state is supporting you like that. I think that's really needed, especially for a young fighter. Um, and, too, like I said, Jose, I really believe it's a, it's a learning process. Just, you know, uh, don't want to see you go through it again because <laughs> there's only so many times you're going to learn from it, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no more of that. You know, I have to go back to Jimmy, you know, put those hands up and, you know, keep working 110% harder so. So where do we go from here? When do we see you get back into the ring? And like you said, you already cleared the rumors about you and your father separating and you moving on. You said that's not a no-go. You're sticking with your dad. has been with you for, from the beginning. Um, what have you been up to? You know, I just 
well, right now, we like I said, we just took, you know, took the holidays off, you know, the family, uh, uh, you know, being with the family. But, you know, when it started, uh, started uh, working again and, you know, training hard and getting ready for the next fights that are coming up, so. Well, there you go. Has there been any, do you have any idea which card they're going to put you on, or has anybody talked to you about that yet? To, to be completely honest with you, I have no I have no idea. You know, I have to just talk to my my team about that, see what, uh, what cards are going to be next, and, you know, what, what where to fight and you know like I said what cause I don't you know I don't know exactly when but you know hopefully soon so. cool yeah I can't wait to see you get back into the ring man hey wish you Fantastic. all the luck and uh, to you and your dad and, and can't wait to see you get back in there and do your thing no thank you man I appreciate you I appreciate, I appreciate everyone that's been out there supporting me and you know you for letting me be on your show you know I thank you and I'm gonna go back and keep training hard and like I said hopefully one day be a world champion absolutely brother we look forward to it man thank you again Thank you, God bless. All right, man. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Jose Benavides Jr. on leaving the ring and uh, clears the rumors about him and his father separating. And, you know, talks about a hard situation, you know. That's a tough thing to talk about, you know, when you get rocked and you get a lot of fans that are just kind of, you know, bagging on you about it and, and, you know, acting like that they could have worked through that. And, you know, it, it's the quarterback couch potato uh, syndrome. And, you know, I know that's a tough thing to kind of, you know, speak on and be able to talk about it intelligently and learn from it, you know, uh, especially at his age, a young kid, but he's doing a hell of a job. And like I said, it's a learning process and glad to hear that he understands it is a learning process. I can't wait to see what he does next uh, on the next scheduled date for him to get back into the ring. Jose Benavides Jr.